long time coming. But we are finally back together again. The Vic and Steve show. Oh yeah. In 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 the house. Back. In the house. Uh, well, you can have the Vic, Vic, Steve, and and, and Tim show. Right. It reunited and it <laughs> feels so good. Yeah. So we're at the we're we're, <laughs> we're at the home shot. So we're doing this safely. So trying to keep our distance. I don't know. I've given you the mic. Yes. Yeah, so you I'm, guys are in your own little bubble here. Right. I think I know. Yeah, so um, you you have to man that properly, and then when, like Ace of Spades. Yes, right. Okay. And then when you let and when you let him talk, which doesn't happen all that much. Okay. Um, so yeah, everybody, if you if you forget, uh, Vic and and Steve, and uh, pretty exciting because uh, Wood Show. We, we always do a visit at the Wood Show, right? We do, yeah. Uh, like everything is going virtual. Yes. So that's that's this coming weekend. Yes, it is. So you guys are going to be hosting it from this bunker here yep so this is my shop here in burlington okay. and we're going to be able to connect um virtually and we're going to have cameras and we're going to have everything set up so that people can watch what we're doing nice and we're making something today and we, we started on these uh, as uh, cameraman luke said uh, shoehorns is that what we're making no they, well they can be shoehorns <laughs> uh but um and but you have to decide right away because these are actually salad servers you don't want to mix the use okay <laughs> or if That's, you do just don't let the person know right when, when you're mixing right. up the caesar salad right exactly <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so over the this weekend in the in your virtual little tour on the Wood Show, you're going to be making these on camera for people, right? And we're going to be doing a bunch of different segments. So the the, the whole thing is called Bend It Like Vic and Steve, okay? <laughs> well done. And well so done. basically, we're going to show a bunch of different ways that you can bend wood. And so the way that we're doing it with this particular set is called bent lamination. Okay, so what's the, let's, let's do the ba words that start with. So basically what we're going to do is we have to create these thin pieces of wood. Now we can do that here in the shop because we have all the equipment. Okay, okay let's, you have the equipment. Let's show, right. if you have the equipment, how do you do it? All right. So if, first thing you need is a bandsaw, okay? And what we basically have done is set up a fence so that it's nice and close to that blade. And then we take a regular piece of wood that's been squared up. Where are you getting that wood from? So you get this at any sort of Anywhere. lumber dealership, okay. you know, wherever you want to go. And then basically what we're going to do is we're going to create rough blanks that are the approximate thickness. Does it matter? Like, how thick is that? Well, these ones here, once they finish off, they're going to finish off at two and a half millimeters. Okay. So they're really thin. If you don't, Steve, if you don't have a bandsaw handy, where are you getting these pieces from? So you can get those from a bunch of places. Um, any place that sells exotic wood uh, will have pre-milled stuff. Um, and you can always count on a buddy to, to help you out. Right. Okay. So once we do that, we're going to head over here. Luke, you, which way are you going, Luke? You're going, go whatever way you want, because we're actually doing some sand in here, Ned Steve. Is that the next? Yeah. So that's, machine, that's the next step. What this machine does is basically it's a drum sander, and there's just some sandpaper in here. And what we're going to do is this makes it perfectly flat. Okay, let's, t let's turn around and put those in there. Yeah. So it feeds itself. Let's get that mic up, just so we can hear so you. So it feeds itself. Right in through that. Okay. So throughout the morning, we're going to be working with Vic and Steve to get them set for the, uh, the virtual wood show happening, well, I guess starting tomorrow, running all weekend long. They're going to be, we're going to be bending it with Vic and Steve. They also have something exciting coming up on the 21st. That's called Wood Yak. We'll get more into that when we return. The two men themselves, Vic and Steve on Morning Live. Would you believe and it's been an actual year since we got to hang out with Vic and Steve and talk virtual wood show. Wow, talk. Well, you're being quite the well, artist there. Yeah, is that the way you're supposed to do it? No, it's slap I was along. given I was given no instructions. I was just told to put some glue on this wood. Well, we, and that's we've what I'm done doing. this enough that I figured you would know this yeah. by now. Um, Slather some more on. Yeah, need, you're I need, I need, need more. Oh, need more than that? Yeah, oh, yeah. well, throw, it no, doesn't matter. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, well, not on the same people. Well, this is where you're supposed to give me direction. Well, maybe you should attend the show. Do you give direction in During the show? The show, yeah. So okay, what's that? That's the roller. That's the roller. So okay. you're going to use that to apply the roll it out. Roll it out like that? Yeah. Okay. Um, A nice so even coat. On Don't there. Don't worry about your hands. Okay, they're going to get sticky. <laughs> it is a sticky situation, right? As I say. <laughs> so true. putting that on there. Okay, so anybody that missed the first segment, we are making these. Okay, um, shoehorns or salad tossers, whatever right. you, you want to use. Um, and use don't them, mix use the them two. For. Don't mix two. So, 
Putting that on top? Why don't we throw a bit more glue on it? More glue. glue. Oh, so my how goodness. about right here? You got some dry spots. Oh, you don't right. want any so dry you spots. definitely want to make sure there's an even coat. Okay. So this is Perfect. the type of thing that you're doing this weekend for the uh, wood show, which has gone virtual. Normally it's in Toronto, right? But it doesn't right. matter where the heck you are because well, it's all no, online. No. So this, this time around we're doing virtual. So in fact, at the last virtual show in November, we had people from around the world tuning in. Really, eh? Yeah. And it's great. It's not only Vic and I. There's other presenters that are going to be doing it. Um, and the beauty of this is they can watch from the comfort of their own homes. Are they doing it with you, or are they just no. watching you guys work? Yeah, they're typically just they're just right. watching you work. Okay. And they can interact with us. They can ask questions. Is that uh, enough glue? So there, that, there we go. In fact, now this is really starting to look like how Steve operates. Putting that over there? <laughs> Lots of glue. Right. Lots of glue. Okay. So, so uh, yeah. Just no sniffing, just of the, no sniffing of said glue. Right. Okay. So. Because we, we want to be bending this, right? right? Right. And so the more radical the bend, uh, the thinner we would make. In the last step, we made these uh, thin. So the, the more radical the bend, the thinner those strips. But look how easily that's coming together. Okay, nice. So this weekend too, I wanted to, it's just not you guys. There's a number of people that are, that are doing workshops that you can follow along with and right. learn, learn a thing or two and become, uh, become as, proficient at woodworking. Ah, very nice. And with COVID, everything is, woodworking has just taken off. Yeah. Um, talking with retail suppliers, uh, manufacturers, it's just gone. They can't keep up with okay. the demand. Woodshows.ca is how you sign up? Woodshows.ca. Yes. Woodshows yeah, woodshows okay. okay. At the bottom sure. of the screen, they also got something else coming up. Uh, two weeks. Oh, somebody, Andrew, off camera. What is it? Woodshows.com. Woodshows.com. That's what we, exactly what we said. We have somebody who's correcting us here, which is very important because we need we, all the help. We need all the help we can get. We'll, uh, we'll continue to make our shoehorns or salad spinners or whatever else you can use them for with uh, Vic and Steve. Virtual Wood Show this weekend on Morning Life. Well, we are bending it with Vic and Steve back at uh, Vic's shop here in Burlington. Get you set for the uh, Virtual Wood Show. We have, um, we've taken the mic away from Steve because that was a train wreck. Yeah. yeah. Woo, man. This is for the best. Really. He, doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't talk to people very much, does he? Not, <laughs> not usually, no. But it's good. It's good. Like he's. It's he's, good to get him out. Yeah, he's good for morale. <laughs> right. Nice. Um, <laughs> this is the last Vic and Steve show. Yeah, last Vic, last and, Vic and Steve show. Last Vic and Steve show. It's about time you went out on your own. <laughs> way, right. way more, yeah, way yeah. more successful. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What's what? What is Steve doing? So right now, so we've taken the the wood out of the forms, and now Steve is using a template um, to trace around the board because we have to give it that nice sort of triangular shape. Why do you want it two pieces? Why couldn't you just use one piece? It's just not thick enough for well, the, what, we're, what we're building? We need the layer of glue in between to hold the bend. So later we'll talk about other ways to do that. Okay. But in this case here, the glue helps hold the shape together. So I said it bended with Vic and Steve. That is what you guys are doing uh, this weekend uh, for the virtual wood show. Uh, Steve is doing what now? He's going to cut that out, what he yeah, traced? He's going to use the band saw. You could use any sort of a saw for this. Um, but basically, he's just now going to cut that shape out uh, using the saw. But it's just not you guys. There's a bunch of people that are actually going to be there this weekend. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Just There's like you would normally see at the International Center or at the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum, but it's just all virtual. Well, that's right. And in fact, because it's not located in one particular city, you can get, but like, they have a ton more speakers because they can come in from anywhere. They've got people from Nova Scotia that are going to be teaching. they got right. people from the other end of the country. So it's fantastic. Really. So there's live sessions. There's Q&As. There's, there's actually a ticket that you can buy if you're not able to see it this weekend. It's called like the Video Vault that you can watch there for, yeah, that's for right. future you can, stuff. You can tune in and watch it again if you didn't get to see everything that you wanted to see. So it's, right. pretty, it's pretty cool. And then in two weeks' time, you guys are doing a Wood Yak. Yeah, so Wood Yak is the creation of Steve and I. And basically what it is is like a furniture-making conference. And it's a one-day event. And um, it's going to be showcasing some of North America's top furniture makers and designers. Cool. Where are you making this uh, skateboard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is uh, this is a kit. A uh, Toronto company called Roar Rocket sells this kit, where basically you get all of these laminations, you get a form, and you get a vacuum bag, 
and nice. you can make skateboards. Amazing, cool, okay. So basically this is exactly what we're doing with the spoons, just more layers and with a different me method of holding the shape. Did you get it done over there? Yeah, it's yeah. all done, yeah, all done. we're ready to go. Okay, just so we'll take- Just a bit of smoothing. Sweet, we'll take, uh, we'll do that in the break. We'll take a break and come back and we'll uh, continue our, uh, our adventures. Bending it with Vic and Steve getting you set for the virtual wood show this weekend on Morning Life. <laughs> Open it up. Things are getting a little steamy in here. We're learning tons with uh, Vic and Steve getting you set for the virtual wood show. Uh, okay, so we've made this. Okay. Oh, actually, I should get both of them. Right? right. Both, both of these. Salad spinner. Shoehorn, whatever you want to use it for. Uh, back with Vic and Steve. We've given Steve the mic. Oh no, Steve has the mic. Yeah. Oh, well, oh goodness. Okay. You never know where this okay. is going to go. So we 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 did, we did bending one way last uh, last half hour, right. Steve. This is another way you can bend right. things. So there are multiple ways of bending wood. Okay. Uh, one of them is having thin slices and bending it around the form. Another way is steaming the wood. Okay. And bending it around your knee. Right. So oh, wow. go nice and slow. So that won't that in. won't snap. No, it, if you go fast, it might. And once, so it's a bit warm when it comes out. Yeah. And you can probably feel that, and that's why you're wearing gloves. But once you bend it around this form and it dries, it's going to stay in this shape. In when fact, we, if you take a look at Vix. Right. Because when we had it in the other form, it did. It, it, it would bend back to its actual right. Well, we, original. we use glue in that situation to hold the two pieces together. This allows you to bend it with just one piece. Wow. Look at that. Right. And take us through the steam box. Like, did you build that yourselves? Right. So this is, this is nothing complicated. It's just a, a box with four walls. Um, and we've got to use waterproof plywood, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is waterproof plywood here. So it's designed for exterior use. And then what we've got is a generator down there that basically is just a fancy kettle. And then that hose goes into the box there onto the side. And then we also have a thermometer just so we can keep an eye on the temperature um, because you want to keep it to as close to 180 as you can. Right. Um, like just, just about boiling. And, so. the, and the other thing you want to be careful of is have an exit hole because you don't want to build a steam bomb. Oh, right. Okay. That's you don't a whole, want a that, perfect we'll, we'll save that for the fifth segment. Um, can you, can you bend any type of wood? Well, typically, um, typically what you want to use is air dried lumber, right? So that the lignin hasn't set yet, but really there are techniques that will allow you to basically soak and steam any sort of type of wood, uh, and bend it. Some are better than others, but for the most part, you can bend almost anything. Yeah. Listen, through the pandemic, people have been uh, getting handy. And if you want to learn a thing or two from these lads, um, or a number of other individuals, virtual wood show, it's normally in Toronto, but it's, it's online now. So you have everybody from all over the world coming in and, uh, uh, giving you different tutorials, live sessions, Q and A's and, uh, some cool stuff. And then two weeks, the wood yak. Right. Yes, the wood yak. And that one is more um, uh, geared towards furniture makers. Okay. We've got speakers from all over the world that are going to be talking at it. It's going to be fantastic. Okay. Feet to strength. Okay. Just be careful because it it's cooling off now. You don't want to go too much. Oh, too much because then it will snap. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not wearing goggles. Oh, who's stronger? Who ate the Wheaties? 